Hi family, welcome back to yet another video. If you're a returning subscriber, God bless you so much. And if you're new here, I really love visitors. So on this particular video, we are going to look at cloves oil, which has really been doing so well on my daughter's hair, as you can see. So I'm just gonna help you make your own cloves oil in the, in the house. So we are going to need an empty jar with a lid. Make sure it's dry and clean. We are going to need measuring cup. We are going to need any essential oil that you have. You can use coconut oil. For me, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use coconut oil or I'm going to use olive oil, but any can do. We are gonna need cloves also. So I think I'm going to use olive oil on this video because olive oil has a lot, a lot, a lot of benefits. It has a lot of benefits and one of the benefits is it simulates hair growth. It also reduces dandruff. It also reduces split ends. And sometimes it, it works as a deep conditioner. So if you're thinking of buying olive oil, please consider buying olive oil because it is really, really good for your hair. Another thing you're going to need is a blender. I prefer blending my cloves before using them. So I'm just gonna blend my cloves. So just make sure you blend your cloves really, really well until it's fine. So cloves contain a certain compound, which is actually the main compound in cloves, which is called eugenol. I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it correctly, but this compound is really good when applied to the scalp. It promotes hair growth when applied to the scalp. So as you can see here, my cloves are ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer it to the clear jar. Make sure it does not have any water because water will make your oil go bad easily and quickly. So just make sure your, your jar is clean and dry. Then I'm just gonna measure my olive oil. I'm gonna mix it. So guys, your hair is your crown and it should be treated as such. So just make sure you take care of your hair to avoid damaging it. So cloves prevents hair loss. It also soothes the scalp. It prevents premature aging of hair. So cloves oil is really, really good for your hair. It also treats dandruffs because it contains a lot of antiseptic and antifungal properties that help get rid of dandruffs quickly. So please consider using this oil. It is easy to make and really quick. Just make sure you have it in your fridge. You can mix a few drops of clove oil in your regular hair care products. You can also mix it with coconut oil for scalp treatment. And before using this oil, make sure you perform a patch test before applying clove oil on your scalp. If you experience any redness or any burning sensation, make sure you discontinue using cloves oil. Don't use it. So as you can see, I have mixed olive oil with the cloves, the, the blended cloves, and then I'm just gonna give it a good shake. I did not make a lot of this because I still have more in the fridge, so I do not need it right now. So I'm just gonna shake it very well. So this is how it's going to look like. As you can see, that is how it's supposed to look like. So this is how it looks like. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and take my pot, put in water, and then put the jar inside the water and let it boil for at least 20 minutes under low heat. After the, the oil is cool, it should be cool, make sure it's cool. After it's cool, I'm going to take my, my sieve. I actually use a wig cup. So this is two wig cups, just to make sure that the big particles do not, are not found in the oil. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and strain my oil. Drop a comment after you've used this oil. Let me know how it worked for you. I will really, really, really appreciate.
this oil is really good guys make sure you make this oil you can use it any day as for me i put it on my daughter's hair every day before she goes to school in the morning so it is really really good for your hair and it is really to to make really easy to make you can just make this oil and put it in the fridge and use it you know pole pole and guys don't forget to perform a patch test before applying clove oil on your scalp and if you experience any discomfort or redness or a burning sensation please stop just don't use it i have other growth diy growth oils on the channel so you can use any other growth oil diy growth oils so these are just the particles that have remained So this one, I'll just throw it away later. So guys, you know, um, your hair is your crown. Your hair is your everything. As a woman, your hair is so important. So please learn to take care of your hair. Your hair is going to do so well. And avoid a lot of chemicals also on your hair. It really worked well. I mean, this DIY um, growth oils and treatments have really worked well for my daughter. And we no longer experience split ends. We no longer experience thinning hair. We no longer experience dandruff. So please, if you these products you are buying on the market do not work well for you, please consider using, you know, the natural remedies on your hair. So this is how our, our oil will look like. So I'm just going to put it in this jar for now, but I'm going to transfer it to the other jar later for easy application. So if you're here and you love your hair, you love anything hair care, please consider subscribing to this channel. Adios.